Well, good day, everybody, and welcome back. Oh, there you are. Uh, so, it's a kind of a cloudy day here, Monday, the 8th of April, and we're hoping to see a partial solar eclipse this morning, but it's looking like we may not see much of it. But I'm out here anyways. I got my two doggies, and I got a little setup to try to video the eclipse if I can. And of course we have a couple of Eclipse viewers who are really more interested in chewing on bones than watching the sky. Well, I was needing a video camera with a very long lens, like a long telephoto lens, that had a small enough front lens that I could put one of these viewing glasses over it. And it turned out my little Canon Vixia camcorder has a small enough front opening, it's about the same size as one of these little film lenses on my viewing goggles. I got these uh, viewing glasses last October, October of 23 for the annular eclipse. But right now, we don't have anything on the screen because it's kind of just high clouds. Just cloudy skies right now, so I just gotta wait to see if there's gonna be a break in the clouds. Maybe not. So yesterday I took this Canon camcorder rig out here to test it, and of course it was a beautiful cloudless blue sky. And I took a little bit of footage, a test footage of the sun as the Canon camcorder is viewing through the little viewing glasses. And I was surprised it was uh, not bad. I was actually able to spot a few sunspots, at least one prominent one. I think there was a smaller one to the left of it. Now, of course, if I was to actually have clear skies here today for the eclipse, the other challenge is the tripod that I'm using is just a ball head. It's not a tracking mount like an astronomer would use. So I would need to be moving the camcorder by hand when the sun drifts through the field of view. And I was hoping to record the whole thing and then turn it into a time lapse. But even then, it's going to be a little jerky. Every time I move the camera, it's going to kind of move back and forth in the field of view, but at least I would have it. But we don't know yet. It's still cloudy. Well, it's just a few minutes from the start of the eclipse. So about two minutes here in Albuquerque, the moon will start to pass in front of the edge of the sun, but it's still high clouds and it just looks like a fuzzy orange orb through the camcorder. But in the meantime, quality time spent with the dogs outside. Clouds are getting thick and thin, now they're thinning out some more. I don't see the beginning of the eclipse yet. So I wonder with the moon and the sun being in the same part of the sky, are there extra strong tidal forces on the earth because of their mutual gravity being in the same location and would you expect strange tides or even earthquakes? Probably not. Probably not. Well, there is a slight eclipse starting to be visible in the camcorder. The clouds are thinning out right now. The image is getting brighter and more distinct. It is 1127 mountain time. The uh, clouds are thinning out. The sun's image is getting brighter. And a distinctive slight crescent of the moon starting to peak in front of the sun. Well, the clouds are certainly thinning out. We're getting a good image now on the camcorder of the eclipse as it's progressing. And I see more patches of real clear sky that will be hopefully coming in soon. So it's good for filming the eclipse today. It's not perfectly clear, but it's adequate. And the dogs are also not caring about the eclipse either.
So I've been told by experts that there's a giant dragon that's eating the sun. So we should probably prepare for that. I don't know what we're going to do with that dragon once he gets heartburn, but it's right up there. Well, there is a nice crescent sun right now, even though it's high clouds, obstructed partly by the clouds, but the sun is definitely visible in the Canon camcorder. It is 12.07 p.m. Mountain Time. So I've been told that standing under and looking through moonbeams can be toxic. So if you're watching the eclipse right now, like up here, you don't want to be underneath the moonbeams. So take precautions. So I've been told by people in the know that during eclipses is when the lizard people come out from underneath Greenland. I mean, could be, you know. Well, it is about 1229, so this is the maximum eclipse that we will be seeing in Albuquerque. So the moon will be sliding off toward the left as the eclipse progresses. I don't know, I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded. I think they call that going loony? Yeah, I think I'm going loony. Cool. It's 12.36 uh, p.m. Mountain Time. So there is a rumor that Planet X that Earth-like planet that's on the other side of the sun from us that we can't see normally, there's a rumor that, yeah, you can see it during an eclipse. I've been looking for it. I haven't seen it. Maybe they're lying to me. You can't believe, can't believe everything you read on the internet, you know.
think I've seen Planet X on the other side of the sun, but unfortunately, their politics is even worse than ours. So it was either on the Mayan calendar or it was Nostradamus. He said something about, I don't know, the world would be different after the eclipse. And I don't know, I haven't really noticed anything different so far. So we have that going for us, which is nice. So what I used for this project was I had a little cheap Canon Vixia camcorder, a lightweight tripod with a ball head. I had two of these viewing glasses. I had gotten these last October from the uh, New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. And uh, one of them, I just gaffer taped one of the lenses in front of the lens of the camcorder. Well, I wanted to be able to run the Canon camcorder continuously and not worry about battery power, so I ran an extension cord out to my patio and I have the charger for the camcorder plugged into it right now. So it's on AC power right now. And then I just had to adjust focus. I set the focus on the camcorder to infinity and then I just adjusted exposure compensation and the zooming for the size of it and then periodically I would just have to adjust the ball head as the image of the sun would drift through the viewfinder I would just have to readjust every few minutes so that's kinda of what I used it was pretty basic technology just make sure you get some genuine uh, eclipse viewing glasses solar viewing glasses that protect your, your eyes and it works pretty good so the next uh, solar eclipse that will be seen from New Mexico will be in the year 2077 and it will be an annular eclipse similar to what we had October of 2023. So um, I will be pretty darn old. And as we now pass totality for our eclipse here in Albuquerque, I'm reminded of the last line of the last song of the Dark Side of the Moon album by Pink Floyd. Everything under the sun is in tune, but the sun is eclipsed by the moon. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.